oh, I'd probably warn him that you know half your band is going to set your legs on fire during shows in that first year and a half of touring. Uh, um, I would probably warn him about the excesses, you know, because that they start to pile up really quick, especially when you're you're in a trench with your buddies, and it becomes the way that a lot like it becomes a way for you to kind of bond, but then it develops into something a lot more destructive, because um, all of a sudden you're not on the road anymore, and you're like, uh, real life, what? You know, it's such a it's such a different mode of of thought, really. I mean, the, the only real way I can make sense of it is to, to know that it was kind of in me to begin with. And being in that, being in that situ that situation for those many years, just kind of upped the ante, you know, knowing that, you know, that I mean, there's still huge, huge pieces of time that I don't remember, you know, I mean, just because, and it's sad because, you know, that was when I should have been paying attention, you know, like that first, I I I, I guess I'd have to call it the first four years. Um, I was so unavailable that I don't have a lot of, of recollection about it. There are, I have, I have, uh, the, the stuff that I do remember, I mean, I can remember down to the nano, but there are huge places. I mean, I'll, I'll go into a town now and it's like, I've never played here. I've played there twice. You know, I just hadn't played there since 2002, 2003. And that's sad, man. You know, I really wish that I had more recall about that. I really wish I'd been able to enjoy it more. But that's kind of why Slipknot is what it is, is because, I mean, you know, drinking and, and chemicals aside, we were such, we were so hungry and so ready to work that we just kind of ducked our heads and plowed through it and really built the foundation for what would come later. Um, knowing that you don't, you, you never, you might not get another chance at this. So it was just do it and then keep doing it. I mean, we were as surprised as anybody else when we blew up the way we did. I mean, I, to this day, I'm like, what? But knowing that it wasn't just a, a fluke, it wasn't overnight, it took a lot of work. And the fact that we, we did it the right way, I'm proud of that. I wish I would have slowed down for a second and picked my head up and kind of took a look around. I only really did that about two or three times. So that would be what I would, you know, kind of caution my younger self about. It's like, take a look around, enjoy it. Don't get caught up in the booze and the BS. And, you know, just trust your bros even though they set my legs on fire. Jerks. <laughs>